here we are again in the morning. I still haven't been able to convince you that we should move the opening session to the gala so we can have the opening session of the gala together in the afternoon and I don't have to make speeches in the morning. Does anyone disagree with that? I, I promise you I can make even shorter speeches if we move it to the afternoon. I think this is a top thing to discuss during this meeting. We can probably also save some money, okay? This is my first time in Puerto Rico. And if you ever meet my wife, tell her it's raining here all the time. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. Um, this is what has been on my personal bucket list. And I want to emphasize uh, the work that's been done and the commitment from my team, um, from the people here, to make this meeting happen. I have, over the last couple of weeks and months, received many calls from you who asked me if I've been confident if there is no problem. And I've said, no problem at all. And the reason I have been very calm is I have an enormous, fantastic team who does this work for us. We don't see them. They're always silent. They're always in the background. But without the meetings team of ICANN, this wouldn't have happened. We would not have happened. So thanks again. This is also a little bit special for me because it was two years ago I attended my first ICANN meeting in Marrakesh. Do you remember? I introduced Swinglish. You were not laughing then. <laughs> this was a time when we talked about the upcoming transition, where you as a community came together and formed something that was very unique. I thought it was easy. Compared to the questions we're having now, it was sort of the good old days now when we talk about GDPR and budget. But one thing that I carry with me from that time is actually that all that friendship, knowledge, you share with me already at the first meeting. And it taught me something about the multi-stakeholder model which is going to be close to my heart. And also to emphasize what our dear friend Shirinya said, it is sometimes a tough process but you have the ability to come together. And one of them is actually the GDPR. When I stood on stage six months ago and we started talking about GDPR, this is a discussion about who is that's been going around since I think 1804 or something in the famous meeting in Lulio. You were there, I suppose. Where, and it's been a very tough question because how do you, how do you balance the right to privacy with the need for information for the secure of internet. In six months, you've done an amazing job of coming across one of the most hardest questions in the world to do something about it. But the thanks of you, last week, we delivered over as a proposal to the DPAs of Europe, something that we think is compliant with the law and taking also into account the balancing the policies set by the community. We are also, to the DPAs, have all the unanswered questions that you raised to us so they can look at them. We reached a point where it's time for the member states in Europe, together with the DPAs, to come up with a firm answer so we know what's going to happen in the end of May. Because unfortunately so, that if we don't know how the law is going to be, how the law is going to be used after the end of May, our ability as ICANN orgs enforcement possibilities for the contracted parties will be diminished. And that, I think, will have an effect on the WHOIS system as itself. So I'm waiting eagerly for cooperations with the member states and the DPAs. And we have a very good relationship with the data protection authorities of Europe, and I'm very grateful for the cooperation we have with the Article 29 group in this very, very important issue for us. But again, we didn't have anything six months ago. So I really bow my head for all the discussions and everything you've done for the last six months. We didn't even have a process for how I can org can be compliant to such an important law. You helped me create that process. You helped me with all those interactions. 
and you're still sending me letters every day, which I'm very happy for. It's not easy. How do you balance those two things? I would say that you are the first one who really takes that discussion on a broader scale. Shireen talked about fiscal responsibility. Yes. We are now in a budget process, and it's, an slightly it's a slightly unusual budget process in that sense, that for the first time we see that the, the funding into ICANN uh, has stabilized. When I say stabilized, it actually means that it's not a big difference. But as Shireen said, our cost base has uh, evolved over many years. This is where I'm supposed to do one thing, and that is actually to throw the first stone. I'm assigned to come up with a proposal for the budget for you to criticize. We're going to take those criticisms into account. We're going to look at what we can do. And we're going to do our best we can to listen and also adopt what you're saying, as Shireen said. It is an important thing, because in the end, it is the community who takes the final decisions of budget, also through the empowered community settings after the board has decided on. So your input is valid in this process. I'm the one who has to throw, really throw the first turn. But I can sometimes is also amazing when it comes to start looking at things. Over the last couple of days, I engaged in some very good discussions, for instance, about timing of reviews. We always take the opportunity to do better. And I'm looking forward to talk about those things, both from a financial perspective, but also, more importantly, from a community perspective when it comes to the fatigue. You will see the faces I will see when I say that in the budget right now, there are nine reviews for next year. You feel excited about that? That maybe will leave you some time for some policy work as well. You never know. I am a strong believer in ICANN. ICANN is not the internet, but we provide the user interface to the internet for the domain name system. That's an obligation, that's fun, and we do it together. The multi-stakeholder model shows, as I always say, we will not let any government, any company, or any organization or private person take control or hijack what we do. What we do is much more important than that. You have created a system that today is used by 3.5 to 4 billion users around the world. Now we have to go for the next billion users. And I'm very grateful for everything we do in IDMs and local scripts, because that's needed.